why is circulation so important? And why should you be paying close attention to it? Not many people know that poor circulation can cause skin hyperpigmentation, something nobody wants cold hands and feet, spider veins, water retention, and hundreds of other health conditions you not might be aware of. Circulatory health is one of the most important things you should be making sure is working to perfection. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal some of the most effective ways you can improve circulation and make sure your body stays healthy naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. And this channel is a conventional doctor to patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need all any product quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm gonna share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Circulation is one of the most important functions our body has. Let's think about it. If you have high or low blood pressure, circulation might need your help. If you feel cold in hands and feet, blood might not be reaching every part of your body. And if you see water retention, spider veins, or feel headaches, circulatory health is something you need to focus on. Circulation is so crucial that even your skin can show signs of hyperpigmentation. Not mentioning how poor circulation in diseases like diabetes can end up in feet amputations if you're not careful. So in today's video, I'll reveal some of the most effective ways you can improve circulation and make sure your body stays healthy, naturally and effectively. Number one, you need exercise. Now, if you really want to improve your circulatory condition or your health, exercise is something you cannot ignore. I know this might be something people don't like to do, but it is really, really necessary. Don't forget that moving or walking, running keeps your heart pumping well and your vascular system strong and healthy. Your arteries, your veins, and your heart need exercise, literally. Exercise makes your circulatory system stronger, more flexible, and more expansive. And all at the same time, arteries and veins become more flexible as time goes by and something that is crucial if you're looking to control blood pressure, for example. I'd say that it's practically impossible to have a good circulatory health if you don't exercise. So you might want to take that into consideration. Now also don't forget that if you exercise, water retention, which is something that really affects your circulation, is going to go away. If you have all that movement, your circulatory health helps your kidneys evacuate all that water that is in excess inside your body. If you need something natural that can help you improve circulatory health and at the same time improve circulation with respects to the accumulation of water you don't need, look for Appalizer and Essence from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, keep your sugar levels stable. Most people don't understand the dangers of having a high blood sugar level in their body. It's very, very important and crucial if you want to control circulation. Now, even a slightly high blood sugar level destroys circulation. I don't know if you knew this, but diabetic patients, especially those who tend to keep their blood sugar levels high, end up suffering circulatory problems to the extent of having to suffer amputations because of this. Now, these patients may lose a toe or a foot and even a leg just because of high blood sugar levels. It's a true silent killer, and if you don't control it, you can kiss your healthy circulation goodbye. So take that into consideration. Now, the best way to control sugar levels in your body is done by exercising, point number one, and eating a healthy diet that's low in carbohydrates, sugar, and processed foods. Very important. If you need something natural that can help you improve blood sugar levels in your body and at the same time circulation, look for Oncardio and Metaglucose from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number three, it keeps your kidneys healthy. Not many people consider kidney health as part of the circulatory system, but it is. Listen to this. If your kidneys are not working properly, you're going to see water retention start to appear and that's going to become a problem. This backflows the entire circulatory system causing swelling, high blood pressure, maybe even low blood pressure. Now, if things get out of hand and you start losing protein through urine, then all hell breaks loose just because of kidney health and function. You need to make sure that your kidneys stay healthy and it's hard to diagnose a kidney malfunction until everything goes out of control. That's why you need a kidney-friendly diet. 
So curcumin, ginger, garlic, parsley, uh, horsetail, all these can help. I always recommend my patients to take something that is formulated to regenerate kidney function. Literally, regenerate. Look for something like Kidney Matrix from Fineland at DrLandOfArt.com. Spectacular to improve and regenerate kidney function in every way. Number four, keep your cholesterol and your triglyceride levels low. You see, cholesterol is one of the most important factors when it comes to maintaining a good circulatory health. Cholesterol is a natural curing substance made by the liver and needed by the entire body for the proper function of cells, nerves, and hormones. Nobody doubts that. Now, although your body needs cholesterol, excess cholesterol can build up and form a fatty plaque on the walls of your arteries, decreasing the flow of blood to vital areas of your system. If plaque continues to build up over the long term, it can significantly reduce circulation in many areas of the body. Now, this is why keeping cholesterol low is such an important thing if you want to improve circulation. Nobody wants plaques anywhere in the body. So how is that done? Very simple. One way is by making sure that you keep your liver healthy, which is the organ that produces them, and is done. then this is done by avoiding the consumption of foods that are high in amounts of processed hydrogenated fats or even processed goods. For the liver, I suggest you eat celery from time to time. Celery is an excellent liver cleanser and will reduce triglyceride levels and also help with cholesterol. Another herb you can consider and one of the best herbs for the protective agents and effects in that system is milk thistle. Milk thistle can come in concentrated form, which is even better. If you need something natural, a quality form that can help you improve cholesterol levels and at the same time improve liver health, look for heart excel and thistle lessons from Fineland at DrLandOfArt.com. Number four, if you suffer from spider or varicose veins, you need a supplement. Several plants and herbs have been identified and used for thousands of years as popular folk remedies for varicose veins. Many of these very effective. Some of these, for example, are butcher's broom, horse chestnut, hawthorn berries and leaves. These all help. And all of these herbs have been found to be very effective in treating varicose veins and even better if you combine them to make sure this does not become a problem for your circulation. You see, that venous insufficiency you might be having can cause pain, ankle swelling, feelings of heaviness, itching, and even leg cramping. It becomes a serious problem if you start forming other conditions from that root cause. So you need to treat your varicose veins. If you need something natural to start treating those varicose veins, look for vein flow, appalizer, and menofem if you're female and going through those menopause symptoms at drlandavar.com. And how about this channel? Give us a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit drlandavar.com and check out these other videos where talking about training that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.